Just move your body, guys. Laziness and procrastination are real enemies of faith and confidence. And the only way to get over laziness and procrastination is to move. And ultimately, you'll be attacking all kind of whew, enemies. As obedience follows movement. <laughs> so, my rebellious state of mind that I entered in the winter is now it's in the past. It's my rear. No longer a Proverbs 11 22 woman. I don't want to be 
someone who flaunts her her nastiness, someone who flaunts her laziness. I don't want to put that out and get to tell that's the, that's the glory of God. No. I can't do that. You got to move. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, your deliverance from emotion because you can move you can move negatively or you can move positively. I'm not just saying move sporadically. That's the point of having a POA and us counting our days this winter. So that's your goal. And you don't have to bite off more than you can chew. If you want to work out seven days total, I don't advise you do it seven straight days, starting from not working out at all. That's the, that's ludicrous. You set yourself up for So this is a scratch, I'm assuming. Oh, that feels good. So the workout is actually over. And the more you work out, the more you need to work, you get spiritual muscle. You get muscle memory. You get stronger in the Lord. I've heard people say, the flesh is weak. Well, that's the word of God. And that's because you're supposed to feed, feed your spirit more than you feed your flesh. Therefore, strengthening your spirit man. And not your flesh. So, love you guys. Keep it moving. Keep going forward. Thunder out again.